Hey guys, so this is just sort of a short form lick that I made up to just work on my triplets and just kind of have a happy fluffy melody to go along with it. This is all going to be in the key of E and every single note is going to be a triplet apart from like the last two. So we'll be starting on the 17th fret on the high E. So it'll be 17, 19, 15, 17, down to the B with the pinky, 19, 15. And this is where things get a little trickier. So, see I end up with an upstroke there. I'm gonna skip down to my G and go down, up, down, up, down, up. So that'd be 19, 17, 16 on the G, 17, 16, 14 on the D. And then we're going to switch to what I like to call situational picking, where I can kind of go between alternate economy, depending on how many notes per string I've got. Since I'm going to be starting on a downstroke here, on the next measure going 14, 16, 17, and ascending by ending on a downstroke, I'm going to continue with economy picking because that's what's the most comfortable for me in this situation. So we're going to go 14, 16, 17, ending on a downstroke, carry that downstroke up to the B string, down, up, down, up, down. You see, after I play that 15, 17, 19, 17, 15, I end on a downstroke, but I'm descending. So I can't be doing economy picking at this moment in time. So I'm going to switch back to alternate picking to go down to the G to go 16, 14, then down to the D, 17, 16. And this is where we can switch back to economy picking after this for the next measure. We're going to be starting with an upstroke on the 14th fret on the D string. Since there were an even number of notes there, we end on a different pick stroke than what we started on. You see, I started with an upstroke, but I ended that phrase with a downstroke, which means I can continue on my economy picking because I'm ascending. So I would be up, down, up down, up, down, go up to the B, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then we skip down to start on a downstroke on the 12th fret on the D, so we switch back to alternate picking. So you can see in that same phrase, we used economy picking, and we used alternate picking. And finally, to end the phrase, we just do a little run down on our G. So 14, 17, 16, 12, 16, 14, 11, 14, 12, 9, 12, 11, then we got one of those gorgeous ninth inversions that I love so much. So we're going to skip down to the A string and do a nice little third inversion sweep to finish her off. All right, guys, so this is one that I would start at about half speed just to get your picking mechanics down and figure out kind of the tricks behind situational picking so that you don't have to fully think, oh, I have to alternate pick this or, oh, I have to economy pick this every time. This is so your right hand can remain perfectly relaxed and as close to the strings as possible, doing the techniques and motions that are the most efficient for getting from point A to point B as quickly as you possibly can. All right, guys, have fun with this one. I'll see you next time.